Thermal activity restarted at Yellowstone Hill Geyser. New eruptive feature. National Park observers near Old Faithful witnessed something not seen in years. The eruption of the Orem Geyser, wrote Kiernan Foles Donahue. On May 24, observers on Geyser Hill in Yellowstone's Upper Geyser Basin, near Old Faithful, witnessed something strange. Not seen for two years, Orem Geyser eruption. This medium-sized but charismatic geyser is located at the bend of the trail that circles Geyser Hill, in front of a shallow pool filled with geyser eggs, fine pebbles made of mineral layers deposited from geyser water. According to the observations of citizen scientists, Orem was seen erupting nearly 30 times over the next 14 days, throwing water about 20 feet into the air. Orem's revival isn't the only change at Geyser Hill in recent weeks. On the same day Orem erupted, the popular Beehive Geyser erupted twice. The Beehive usually erupts every 18 to 22 hours, although with substantial variation. On the 24th of May, a series of eruptions began at shorter intervals of around 15 to 16 hours. Small features also become more active. On May 30th, a small geyser known as UNNGGHG-17, a designation based on the system for naming small or unnamed features according to geographic location, in the doublet pool runoff channel, began to erupt for the first time. Since 2018, throwing water about three feet into the air and staying at a frequency of about once every 90 minutes for the first few days of its revival, Unusual activity on Geyser Hill is of interest to the community. Resident scientist Graham Meach watched 17 erupt 20 times over two days, carefully noting the timing of the eruptions and how the intervals between eruptions varied. Meach's data covers a critical period in the 17 eruption cycle that will not be recorded before Park Service personnel can place monitoring equipment on the geyser. When 17 started erupting again, a new feature, dubbed UNNGGHG-17A, broke through the surface. 17A is located about 10 feet southeast of 17 and next to the sidewalk. When a new feature erupts, it stirs up sintered shards, rock made from minerals deposited from geyser water, and throws away debris, some of which lands on the pavement. By June 5, the hole from 17A had grown to 2.4 feet in diameter. Preliminary analysis of temperature recorder data indicated that 17A experienced 13 eruptions on the 2nd of June, with a median interval of 1.8 hours between eruptions. As of June 5, this had dropped to seven eruptions, with an average interval of 3.7 hours. The activity at Geyser Hill bears an uncanny resemblance to activity that occurred in the same area last September 2018. That time period includes a rare spring of ear eruption that brought decades worth of human waste to the surface, including coins, hats, cans, blocks of wood, and baby pacifiers. In fact, it was during this period that the feature known as 17 first formed. The unusual circumstances of the May 2023 event are not over. While activity on 17 and 17A slowed, a feature that had previously existed near Doublet Pool, halfway below the sidewalk, came alive. Named by some, Snowball, for the way it churns up tiny bits of center, this feature begins to erupt, 
throwing the 191 degree water at least a foot or two into the air, with a few droplets landing on the pavement. Activity at the feature was nearly constant on the 4th of June, with eruptions reported every 90 seconds. Then, on June 7th, a new vent a few inches to the west of Snowball opened, splashing water in frequent eruptions and flowing in whirlpools.